way to make a fire with these two items and you really only need this one. Let's get to it. All right guys, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna break up some of this stuff and uh, go pile it up where we're gonna have our fire. All right guys, now we're moving on to our smaller stuff. We've got our medium stuff over there. For the small stuff, you want something that's gonna easily catch a flame, right? I like to get the ends of these dry branches here. These really nice, small, skinny, uh, dry sticks. These work the best. All right guys, we got our medium and our small now we're gonna go find the big pieces. Here's some back here. Looks like somebody cut. So we'll take some of those. Some more of these back here. These should work just fine. I'm not gonna find anything bigger than that unless I cut some stuff down. This will work good too. And since we don't have a lighter, we need something that will easily catch a spark. And what I like to use, and I'm in the Ozarks, so I like to use cedar bark. This will be our tinder. So we're going to go back to where our, we're going to have our fire. And I'm going to show you exactly what to do with this. Okay, so what we're going to do with our bark here, our cedar bark, we're just going to grind it up. Try not to lose the whole bunch of it, but you will lose some of the process. We've got our tinder here, all broken up like it's supposed to be. Our small stuff, medium stuff, and then our large stuff is over there. All right, guys, to help out our tinder, we're going to put this grass around it. So we're going to pull some of this grass out, the dry stuff and this is gonna help us get the fire started. All right, we got with this much stuff here, guys. This should work. Okay, now we're gonna make what's called a little nest. And it's really not too difficult. It doesn't necessarily even have to be a nest. But basically what you do is you just break all this stuff up. And we're gonna take our tinder that we got earlier from the cedar tree and kind of set it inside here, break it up some more. Okay, so we've got our tinder broken up pretty good here. Let's see if it's ready to light. And some guys, sometimes guys, if it's a little damp, it's gonna be a lot harder to light. You're gonna have to really grind on your rod, grind on your, your fire rod. Here we go. It's on fire. Just gotta keep it alive. You do not want to smother it. Okay. Now don't set this directly down on it, just kind of hold it over. 
So you see the flame, it's going good. These are kind of damp, see that's nice smoke coming out. That's okay. Flame's getting tall now. All right, so at this point, guys, your fire is, is good. Like you're there, you've got it, you've got a fire going. Now, all you have to do is keep it alive. We're gonna start adding our medium sized sticks here, just a few. And we're gonna wait for those to catch. And if you're wondering what uh, what fire starter I used, it's uh, the Light My Fire company. It's all I got when I was like 14 or 15 or something. And then the axe I'm using is just a Husqvarna uh, small forest axe. these smaller pieces underneath it starts to burn low all right guys we've got our fire started it's going i'm probably not gonna throw the big pieces on just because i don't have a lot of time but this is a good fire right here and as long as you know how to keep it alive uh, there shouldn't be any issues the hardest part is getting it started so if you're looking for a cool way to impress your girlfriend or your buddies or whatever get yourself one of these Learn how to start a fire with it. Every man should know how to start a fire with just a barrel rod. I mean, and this is actually, it's pretty easy. It looks, it might look hard. It's not. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you learned something. See you next time.